guys, it's me! And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look at me, back on YouTube. I really need to start being consistent again. I can't cap, can't cap. Anyways, I miss y'all, my YouTube family. But we back on this, and today I'm gonna be doing a Q&A. So I told y'all on my Instagram story to ask me a question, and now I'm gonna be answering them on my YouTube, because it's only right. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to the first question. There's a lot of questions here, right? There's a lot of questions here. Anyways, <laughs> zodiac sign. My zodiac sign, I am a Virgo. My birthday is actually coming up on the 19th, period. I'm turning 19 on the 19th. It's my golden year. Y'all see how I'm coming. Y'all better make sure y'all show me love for my birthday because y'all know how I'm stepping. Matter of fact, I'm a stomp, but I don't really step. I don't do the step. Nigga, I'm a vet. Better watch your step. Better come correct. I'm a demon, so watch who you What part of New York you from? I'm from Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, New York. I lived on Irvin Place, actually right around the corner from Biggie Smalls, RIP Biggie Smalls. But yeah, sometimes I do miss living in Brooklyn, especially the fact that mad of my family members is out there. Like, all of my family is from Brooklyn. Keep it a stack. All of my family is from Brooklyn. <laughs> Are you single as fuck? These trains were not riding before. Like, these trains were not here before, bro. They were not riding before. Bro. It's like every time I make a video, that's when the train wants to pass. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm just high off life and it feels so good. Have you ever been to any other state except NYC? Yeah, I've been to plenty of states. I've been to Georgia. I've been to Virginia. I've been to Florida. I've been to California. Ca Cali was nice. Cali was real nice. I went there two times for VidCon and for a famous birthdays interview. What's your top five places you want to travel to? Well, I'ma say Japan. I want to go to Tokyo. I'ma say Atlanta. I gotta party out there. Like, one time for the one I have to party out there. I don't care. I want to go to Chicago. I want to see how they hood is like. I don't know. I'm trying to go to Obla. Bang, bang. I'm not going to 63rd though. Where else do I want to go? I want to go to Las Vegas. I really want to go to Las Vegas. And last but not least, And I would also love to go to London. I feel like it's very beautiful out there. And I don't know. I think it would be a nice experience to go to London. Plus, when I met the Lay Twins, they actually told me that I should go to London. So, I'm gonna listen to them. Not a question, but I'm a huge fan and keep up the work. Thank you so much. Why is Ichigo such a goat? Listen, just look at him. <laughs> It's honestly self-explanatory. How old are you? I am 18 years old. What's your ethnicity? Well, my race, I am African American and I'm mixed with Indian and white. You from the Bronx? Hell no! I look like I'm from the Bronx. <laughs> Can you get sturdy? Please don't play with me. I am not one of the demons to watch you check. I was gonna say less and slower than not. How do you deal with depression? Oh, that's a that's a deep question. Oh nah, but the way the way I dealt with depression is honestly just find things that make you happy and just surround yourself with that. And also surround yourself with positivity and positive energy. Because if you don't you can easily fall into depression like that, especially if you're already in like a sad like stigma and you're surrounding yourself with more bad energy. It's just not gonna work. Like, it's just not gonna work. For example, my room used to be black and I was already a sad bitch. So me being sad plus my room being black, it was a wrap. It was a wrap. Um, so I definitely say surround yourself with positive energy and a positive environment. And I'd also say find what makes you happy. Just invest your time into that. And also the people you're around, do not like surround yourself with toxic people I'm telling you it's not gonna do you no good. It's not gonna do you no good. Silly question, are you ticklish? I am very ticklish, bro. And people that be asking me that like, all right, so let's say if it's like, hanging out with my friends right they'd be like are you tickets i'm like no no bro no no like leave me alone i do not like being tickled i swear to god i will pee on you bro like what's the weirdest dm you've gotten i've gotten a lot of weird dms i'm not gonna say too much because like the shit i've seen in my dm you 
probably wouldn't even believe me but I've gotten a lot of weird DMs like men can be very creepy people in general can be very creepy can you do a meet and greet I would love to do a meet and greet one day I just have to find the time and the place and you know I just have to set it all up but definitely soon definitely soon the reason why I've been procrastinating on a meet and greet is because I feel like people wouldn't come but that's me just having to realize that even if one person shows up I would be happy with that because that one person would be happy to see me and I would be making someone's day what bozo mean <laughs> bozo that just mean like a day room person like they're corny like they're lame for real favorite thing to do I'm gonna be honest my favorite thing to do is drive like I don't know I love driving like it's a different type of vibe you know when you just cruising and you got the music on that the, the type of freedom you get when you're driving is a whole different vibe like what do you look for in a guy i look for respect loyalty manners good hygiene responsibility maturity and i don't care about looks just as long as you're not ugly that makes sense and height you know i i love I love me a tall guy. Hey boo. It's so fucking attractive. Hey yo bruh, can you cook though? I can cook. I can cook a couple of things. I don't cook like that. Like I don't cook on a day to day basis. But you know, sometimes I do my little thing in the kitchen. I can make oxtails. I can make fried chicken. I can make a shepherd's pie. And yes, I can make Alfredo noodles. Single, ready to mingle. Honestly, I'm just doing me. I like being independent and I like doing things on my own time. It feels good doing things individually and just having not a worry in the world. And I'm just focusing on my life, my career, my happiness. <sighs> Thank God. Future job, A-list actress. What's your favorite game to play? Currently, my favorite game is Apex. I've been playing Apex since it came out. That will forever be my my favorite like new generation game. <clears throat> but my favorite game of all time, I would have to say the Resident Evil series. Hence Jill and Final Fantasy 7 is another one of my favorite games of all time. Do you take anime recommendations? Of course, all the time. Yeah, if y'all have any anime recommendations, put them in the comments below. I'll take all of them. Yo, these trains are blowing mine, bro. What's your favorite feature about yourself and why? Well, one, I have to say my smile. A lot of people say my smile is contagious and it makes them happy. And I get a lot of compliments on my smile in general, so that just makes me happy. And I I've grown to really like love my smile and another one of my favorite features what's your goals in life or achievements in life honestly my number one goal in life is to just have financial freedom for my family to be good and to be in an action movie with Jason Statham and Dwayne Johnson how do you go on with being a tiktoker while having a bunch of stuff going on that's actually a great question the way i do that is i honestly just treat tiktok as if it's my job because you know it technically is like well it is my job and also time management is really important too the way i do it is in the evening i'd make my videos on my camera and in the morning i will edit them so aside from all that time i'm editing and making videos i am networking negotiating brand deals planning videos if i'm not posting i'm plotting and other than that i'm just hanging out living my best life running errands playing the games like i still have a life to live period the only thing that does bother me with tiktok being my job is that that's all people kind of talk about to me it's like people act like that's my only like trait it's like you know i do other things with my life but i guess it's just because it's a really notable thing being famous i guess that's all people kind of want to talk about top five animes okay this is in no type of order but i'm gonna just give y'all a calm five bleach demon slayer dororo hunter hunter and maid sama how do you respond with negative people because people be hating on me? You don't. <laughs> Just don't respond. You're not supposed to. Just leave them where they're at, honestly. Don't give them your time of day. They really don't deserve your energy. Do loop booty lives matter? Hell yeah! <laughs> How tall you is? How tall do y'all think I am? 
that's always the question I ask when I'm asked that question. Because people be thinking I'm just some like giant. Like how tall do y'all think I am? That's what I wanna know. Leave a comment below and whoever gets it right, I'm gonna pin the comments so y'all know. Are all New Yorker girls really life changers? Yes, yes. I stand by this. What made you want to start acting? Honestly, just action movies. Like, I feel like people in action movies be looking so cool. And I'm like, damn, I want to do that too. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I like telling a story. And I feel like the creative freedom you have as an actor to just portray any character is just amazing bro like watching tv my whole life i would always see people on tv and i'm like damn like i want to be on tv you know what i'm saying but then as i got older i'm like this is like really deep you know what i'm saying like watching action movies and serious movies and psychological movies i'm like wow like i would love to portray these type of characters because at the end of the day it tells a story they be looking badass too like i'm trying to slide down buildings and shoot people like oh lord but i love the idea of acting and I love the craft. I love learning it. And I just fell in love with the storytelling factor of it. Acting has my whole heart. What camera do you have? I have a Canon G7X and it is the best investment I made for my career so far. Anyways guys, that's pretty much all the questions that I chose. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching this video and welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. I am gonna start being more consistent on here. I can't cap because I have been slacking, but we back, oh lord. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. <laughs> And follow me on my other social medias. Follow me on my gram, my TikTok, Snapchat, all that. Hold on. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one.